Hi, science classes. Happy Wednesday and happy test day. Um, I don't want to take a ton of your time because I know it is test day. Um, I'm going to actually have a couple of these ready for today, your intro here, and then one where I go through the uh, test that uh, obviously won't be posted publicly because um, it has the test. Um, a couple quick things before we get on to the test portion of the day, though. Um, as you know, when we finish a unit, missing work is due. Uh, we did a cheat day on Monday. Uh, I know it wasn't necessarily fully direct as it sometimes is. So I do want to mention um, anything you might still be looking for. Uh, the Ed Puzzle um, was notes, Ed Puzzle waves, how waves are transmitted through various materials, PowerPoint notes. That was basically you had to do it. Um, and then uh, there was questions associated with that that would let me know that you uh, did it and understood it. Um, and that was the point of that. The easy quiz, I still have a few of those missing. Um, all you had to do was, the big point of that was to turn it in. One of the focuses I have here as we've been starting second quarter is that you have to turn in your work if you want to get a grade for it. Uh, the Exploring Waves Lab, that was the uh, interactive that we did online. You had a co-teacher vlog on that. Um, it was last Tuesday and Wednesday, carried into Thursday for those of you that met. Then we took a look at it again on Monday for anybody who needed to do that. Um, and then there was an Exploring Waves Lab assessment, which was a Google form you were asked to turn in. Um, wave Speed Equations was posted on Google and then looked like this on paper. Um, a lot of you still have this in the crates. The crates aren't the turn-in bin. Uh, if it's in the crate and you don't turn it in, I can't give you credit. I can't grade what I don't have. Um, same kind of concept if you don't actually hit turn in on Google um, and it's there in the Google form still and you got to turn it in for me to be able to see it and actually grade it. So that's um, that's the wave speed equations. Wave CFA study guide, um, obviously that is a uh, optional assignment. Looks like this. Um, up to two points extra credit. You guys got this. You saw a vlog. Um, I gave you the answers to it. There's still a couple of blank copies. Uh, I made a couple more copies and offered them at the end of the day on Tuesday, um, yesterday. And so there's a few blank copies that are actually in the Thursday bin because that was the day that they were originally given out. Um, and then there are uh, answer key sheets. If you wanted to take a look at one of those and study a little bit here as we're doing start of class stuff, uh, there's a couple of answer key sheets that are over there. If you didn't get a copy of the study guide and you wanted to take a look at an answer key, uh, those were handed out yesterday, Tuesday, so they're in the Tuesday bin. Um, if you turn in an answer key, uh, you don't get the extra credit points, but you could still turn it in, um, you know, just because you feel like it, I guess. Um, extra credit, basically how it counts is, so I'll use the key as the example. Front of the page is one point, back of the page is one point. Do it all, you get the two points, do parts of it, you get uh, partial credit, and it does count, like I said, for extra credit. Um, Today, a couple things on the schedule. Um, obviously, like I said, it is definitely quiz day for our Waves quiz. You have the option to take it on paper um, or to take it on the Google form. If you do it on paper, everything you need is on the quiz. If you do it on the Google form, you're going to need a Waves unit snap sheet. Um, it says Waves Diagnostic Pictures page but it is actually the uh, snap sheet for the whole unit. And I updated that going into the next unit and it's gonna be a little bit better. Uh, these pictures are on the quiz. Uh, they're not on the Google form. That's why you need a snap sheet to be able to do the Google form version. I wanna give you choice. You can do stuff on paper or on Google. Um, I don't have a preference which way you do it. You get the choice to do it. As I talked about yesterday, the quiz is 20 points. Our quizzes are usually 20 points. Um, and so in the case of this one, because there's half points on there, uh, which I'll review as I go through the quiz in just a minute, um, because there's half points on there, if you do it on the Google form, it actually shows that it's out of 40 points. It's still out of 20. It's just that all the halves had to turn into holes, and so all the holes had to turn into twos. Um, and that is actually noted in the Google form anyhow. When you finish your quiz, uh, next unit's going to be sound and light. So you're going to be going on to a diagnostic about that which means that there is a new snap sheet. You can see that I'm actually trying to make updates to this stuff, learning as I go. Uh, so sound and light snap sheet. Um, so we got a sound guy, a light guy, and then of course the nice snap. Um, you're gonna be looking at uh, frequencies that animals are able to hear. 
That's what the picture one is. There's a few questions about that. Uh, this one is showing a sound wave. That's picture three. You should be pretty familiar with these. Uh, and then picture two, uh, you saw on the slow when we took a look at it, it's the broken pencil query. Uh, so all that stuff is in the diagnostic for the next unit, sound and light. And that's what the snap sheet for that unit looks like. Uh, we'll be using those uh, throughout the unit or at the very least for the, the diagnostic and the quiz. I think we might touch on them a few other times as well. Because uh, the snap sheets, I think, are, are helpful as a learning tool, help reduce paper usage as well. Um, so it is, a, it is a Wednesday. I know that that means we have shortened schedule and I've just taken f six minutes of your time. It means we have 39 minutes left in class. I'm going to swap over to going through the questions on the quiz. Um, you guys can go ahead and decide if you want to take the quiz on paper or on a computer. If you're doing it on a computer, go ahead and go grab a Chromebook right now, get logged in. Um, if you've not yet done that, uh, make sure any missing work is turned in, whether paper or via Chromebook, and then uh, we'll go ahead and start the quiz. Thanks so much. Happy Wednesday.